Good evening, everyone. You may be wondering why I'm wearing a police officer hat today. Well, I'm not going to arrest anyone, don't worry. But today I'm going to talk about the most important police forces in our bodies, which are the immune cells. Our immune cells work day and night, going down, going up from one organ to the other to find pathogens, microbes, dangerous bodies, catch them and destroy them. However, when it comes to cancer cells, it seems that our immune system is not able to fight cancer. Why is this happening? Well, cancer cells have mechanisms to escape from the immune system. Or if I want to say it in a more simple way, they can disguise from the immune system that it does not recognize it as dangerous. This is why scientists have thought of a very smart idea to help the immune cells find and destroy the cancer cells. This is how they did engineering of the immune cells to express some kind of artificial arms, as you can see here. These arms can recognize special structures on the surface of tumor cells. Then they can go, search, find tumor cells, destroy them. This technology is called the CAR technology. It showed a lot of success in clinical trials, especially with patients of blood cancers or leukemia. But as any other treatment, there is side effects. So what are the side effects with these guys? These guys, when they find the tumor cells, sometimes they become overexcited, very proud, and they work more and more and proliferate and increase in number. Then they not only harm the tumor cells, but also the patient. This is why in our group, we are working in a way to make these cells switchable. So off, on, off, on, on, when we need them for therapy, and off when there is side effects. And this is how we are providing a new safety approach for the therapies based on immune cells. And at the end, what I would like to say, that engineering of immune cells appears to be one of the most promising approaches for the new treatments of cancer. Thank you.